Now let me ask you a question, a rhetorical question. Let's assume, it's not about sexual harassment, let's assume that Mr. Bolton did what was alleged and went into Kyrgyzstan and lied and said, said, the woman in question here has stolen government funds and she's likely to be indicted. Let's assume there was nothing else at all but that one single allegation. Just that, nothing else. No intelligence data, nothing. Would you hire a staff member who did that? Would you even hire a staff member who did that? That in representing a client went out and maliciously lied about someone doing their job. I would be dumbfounded if one of you would even hire a staff member. So maybe it doesn't matter to you. We're going to have to assume, because there's no contravening evidence, and in the case of the woman in question, we have one cooperating contemporaneous witness who says, yes, that's what he did in Kyrgyzstan. I guess you don't want to hear about that, OK? No problem. We send a guy, and I hear this stuff about, he's just a tough lawyer. He's the guy you want on your side if you're in trouble. Well, I don't want my lawyer, and I don't want any lawyer, saying something to help my case by lying, deliberately lying, about my opponent in the case. There's talk, I will not, I'll just get it. I would ask you to ask, pick up the phone anyway and call his old law firm and ask why they didn't bring him back. A great senators. Hi, Chuck. He used to love me when I was a Democrat, you know. <laughs> <laughs>